Hey, here today with a Destination Wax haul. I'm so excited. She released a lot of new, um, great, fantastic, wonderful scents. Um, I haven't smelled anything in the box. I just opened it up so you guys wouldn't hear all the crinkling and all that stuff like that. Um, so in this, I got one dish Destination Sampler. There is... Two 13 new cents in this. I'm so excited. Um, and then the other stuff I got is all things I've already had and melted. So let's go through the, um, so she sends you a bag with samples. She writes a little note on there. It just says, hi, Danielle. Thank you for trying the new cents and Thanks for all of your great posts in the group, Rebecca. Yes, I post a lot in her group. Um, her wax is fantastic. I love, love, love all of her stuff. Just a foreclosure, too. I didn't show you guys that to know, like, any, you know, go brag or anything. I just, I really love and enjoy her wax, and I really feel like everybody should try it. Um, I always buy... Unless I've stated otherwise on my videos and stuff, I buy all my own wax with my own money. I'm obsessed with her wax. Um, this was actually um, my good friend, um, Bama Wax Love. She um, actually gave me a $25 uh, gift card for Destination Wax for Christmas. So I put that towards this, which I'm just so excited for. Oh my gosh, this is a new scent. Okay. This is a test melt, pink sugar, and a fresh laundry. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I love pink sugar. Oh, that is so beautiful. Um, that smells very good. Spearmint. Thank goodness she sent me a sample of this. I love her spearmint. It is so perfect. Fresh spearmint with a touch of sweet peppermint. Oh, this is a really good blender. Um, and my last sample, Meyer Lemon Salsa. Sweet Meyer Lemon, Pineapple, Kiwi Fruit, and Tropical Melon. I think I've already had this one before. Mm. That would be good mixed with like a lavender or something. I love mixing her stuff. It's so much fun. Okay, I lied to you guys. There's only one thing I did not unpack. I'm going to go through all the stuff I bought that I've already had before. Um, okay, I don't think you guys can see this one very well. Warung Indonesian Dark Patchouli Essential Oil with Chamomile Tea and Lemon. I've talked about this on one of my empties recently. This scent is so perfect. I love her London Calling, which is a black tea, lemon, and sugar scent. This one with the patchouli, mm, this is so perfect, and it throws like a friggin' beast. I'm sure it was just poured 118. I'm sure I could melt this now, and it would probably throw like a beast. Um, vanilla root beer. I love this, too. Lightly spiced fizzy root beer with vanilla. I've melted this before. It is a creamy vanilla root beer scent. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's perfect. I love her root beer scent. Pretzel blueberry. Pretzel and blueberry basket. I have melted this one before too. As I've already stated. I'm just repeating myself. But um, this smells like blueberry ego waffles. Love it. That would I probably, and along with Warong, I would get in a loaf eventually. I just need to get my stash down a little bit before I go into loaves. Avo lemon, lemongrass, lemon verbena, bergamot, and rosewood compared to lush Avo bath. I got this so I can um, play around with this a little bit with mixing for um, spring and summertime. I want to try mixing some stuff so maybe this summer I can get some custom loaves. And orange chiffon cake. Orange chiffon cake garnished with sweet caramel hazelnut brittle. This one's nice too. This one is a good blender also. 
this would be good with like a strawberry, the strawberry berry sauce. Mm, that's lovely. Okay, now to, I guess, I'm sorry guys, I didn't open all the stuff all the way up. I didn't want to be tempted to smell anything. I'm just going to pour it all out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I don't want to get these mixed up so I can take my pictures later. First, from the new, um, all the rest of everything that I'm going to show you is brand new. Um, so here we go. Shop around. Parma, violets, and creamy fruit candy with a hint of cinnamon. Interesting. Okay, this is really, really nice. Oh my gosh, you get that fruit candy in the, um, like a little hint of floral. Oh my god, and you even smell the cinnamon on second whiff. That's a beautiful, beautiful blend. Oh my god. I cannot wait to try that one. Good lord, that smelled good. Lavender stardust, lavender, pink sugar, peppermint, and a touch of vanilla. I already know I'm going to love this. Mm. The peppermint comes first, and then the pink sugar. With the lavender hiding a little bit in that one, but that is really nice. Suspicious Lies, sensual blend of neroli, rose, rosewood, orange, flower, and a hint of grapefruit. Okay, this is a little bit more floral. Mm. Okay, so this actually reminds me, because I um, have grown up in Florida my whole entire life with orange groves. This smells like an orange blossom to me. Mmm. Oh, just so nostalgic. This is really, really beautiful, too. And I'm not a huge floral um, a fan, but oh, this is so beautiful. Very, very nostalgic for me. It reminds me of growing up here in Florida. It smells just like orange groves. 50 Ways. Green floral blend with not quite 50 components. See online scent description for main scent notes. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, on first sniff, I'm going to probably completely butcher this. I'm not good at describing scents whatsoever, but I smell like, it smells like fresh grass, like outdoors. Mmm. I don't, I don't, I'll have to look that one up. I, this one's interesting. I like it, but I just don't quite know what it is. Blackjack, black chamomile brightened up with apple, clary, sage, and extra chamomile. Oh my God, that is so good. Oh, this reminds me of the black chamomile from Candle from Bath and Body Works. Oh my god. Apple clary sage with extra chamomile. Oh, that's going to definitely be repurchased. I can already say that. It's beautiful. I love that chamomile. I love um, that she started doing chamomile in her wax. It's so, I knew she would perfect it. Desert tumbleweed, sage, sweet grass, cedar, peppermint, spearmint, and vanilla sugar. Mm. Her peppermint and spearmint. So good. And then, what is that I'm getting? The sage? Mm. Girl. This is, this whole, um... Sampler is like right up my alley. This one I primarily get the peppermint, but I'm sure when you melt it though, all of those scents will come through like they typically do with her wax. It's just, oh, 
I'm so amazed right now. You're so vain. Sweet, sweet scent of strawberries, orange, passion fruit, creamy vanilla with a touch of violet. I was so excited to try this one. I bet this is going to be really nice and fruity. Mm, that's like a very sophisticated fruity scent. Passion fruit. I think, oh, the violet. I'm getting the violet and then that like passion fruit scent. Oh, that's so pretty. This is like a very sophisticated, like elegant when I would picture somebody with like a fancy mansion melting in their house. That one's really nice. Best way I can describe it. I told you guys I'm not the be not the best. Uh, Vegas showgirl. Melon, pink flowers, coconut milk, and leather. I think this was one of the ones that sounded like the most interesting. First, I get the leather. No doubt about it. Then, melon. Which you guys, and I'm just being an honest YouTube reviewer, you would think that would be the weirdest blend ever. Like, ugh, who would do that? This actually works. Leather and melon. I like it. There's other stuff in there, but on my nose on cold, I just get the um, leather and melon. That's nice. Cannot wait to give you guys a warm review on that. Quickie Wedding. Straw or fresh strawberries, strawberry seeds, and marshmallow fluff. I have not smelled this yet, but I already know I'm going to love it because I freaking love her strawberry seeds. Makes my mouth water every time. Yep. Strawberry seeds is what I, I'm going to, if you guys like her strawberry seeds, you're going to like this. Um, primarily what I get right now is the strawberry seeds, but when you melt it, I'm sure when it kind of gets warm, uh, you will get the marshmallow fluff too. The hangover cure, clean, crisp, and fresh. This will jumpstart your second wind. <laughs> lemon grass, lemon cypress wood, and lime. Let's see. Okay, how to describe this one? I I don't know why I smell tomato vine. Let's see. Okay, so this is something, it's not, like, you know when you go to, um, ugh, like a spa, and you get a massage, and, like, you smell your lavenders, your peppermints, but places when they, they, um, have the, like, la uh, lemon scents, like, the lemongrass scents going, that's what this is. Like, this is what my ideal scent would be when getting a massage. This is really, really beautiful. I like that a lot three more plain old black chamomile um this is a bbw type mm. i love the color of it too beautiful yellow oh my gosh this okay let's see where's the other one Jack. Okay, let's see. Let's smell them kind of side by. I'm going to smell, try and smell a little bit. So blackjack, you definitely get, um, you get with the apple a little bit more. So it's a little bit more like a fruity crisp note. Black chamomile by itself is so pretty, too. Both of those are very, very good. You can't go wrong with either one. Poolside Cabana. Pineapple, coconut milk, jasmine, peach blossom, salty sierra, and musk. Where I, I'd love to be at a poolside cabana right now. Wow. That one is so... Oh, my God. Rebecca, you killed it with this sampler. Mm. Pineapple for sure. Pineapple and the peach. But if a lot of people actually don't like peach, but if you don't like peach, still give this scent a try. Because I feel like with the um, jasmine, the salty sear kind of gives it like more floral oceanic part to it. Oh my God. I love it. This is extremely beautiful. 
I gotta say, I think this might be one of my tops from this collection so far. And lemon... Oops, sorry guys. Try it again. Lemon leaves and mint. Lemon leaves, lemon oil, lemon verbena, and fresh spearmint. Interesting. That sounds very interesting together. Mmm. Um, this smells like her lemon verbena. I think that she has by itself. But you do get that minty note. Mmm. 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 Okay. That was lovely. The whole entire sampler is just perfect for you guys who I think it's nice that she does her sampler so that if you're unsure of a scent, you just get it all together. You try each individual one for one set price in a sampler. You find what you like and then you melt through them. And then when she has the um, pre-orders open, you can just order them at your discretion, whichever ones you want. That's why I think it's nice when vendors do samplers. So that you're not going crazy looking for different scents. It's just all bundled together. Um, makes it a lot easier for the vendor and then it makes it a lot easier for you. So if I end up loving um, all these scents, repurchase all of them. You know what I'm saying? If there's some that I'm... Not every sense for me. I've tried some stuff from Destination Wax that I've realized that is not for me. So that's why I always buy um, scent shots first. So like with Warung, I tried that one first. Loved it, so I bought more. It all just is all about your preference. And as on YouTube, I might like something that you don't like. So, or vice versa. Never be afraid to go out of your comfort zone with scents. Like... You have to realize, like, I might not like patchouli, or I'm sorry, I may love patchouli. <laughs> I love, love, love patchouli, especially Destination Wax patchouli, but you might not. But just because you don't like patchouli from one vendor doesn't mean you might not like it from another. Every vendor has their own way of doing things, and I think it's really good to go out of your comfort zone, um, especially if with Destination Wax, I've been buying from her for a while now. I love her wax. And if she comes out with a new scent and I'm kind of like, ugh, I don't know about that, I'll still try it. And if I don't like it, then I know not to buy it again. You know, you just, I see a lot of people, they're always like, I don't know. I don't think I want to do that. You know, the thing is, is like you buy a scent shot one time for $2 and I think like 15 cents from her. You never know. Like, there are some people who absolutely are like, oh, I don't want to do wine cellar. Patchouli, patchouli. Oh, no, no, no. They end up loving it. You know, I have to say, you never know what you get until you try. You got to try it first before you knock it. So, sorry about that. A little bit of, like, a extra added part onto this video. Um, I just wanted to put that out there. Like, don't be afraid to try new things. That's, that's what the wax world is about. Pushing you out of your boundaries a little bit sometimes. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope that, um, you guys, when you watch these videos, take into consideration trying out a new vendor. Um, I think I found Destination Wax from several YouTubers out there who just really loved her and raved about her wax. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it out. And I did, and I'm glad I did. And Rebecca is probably one of the nicest vendors out there, too. She's very sweet. Um, and I hope you guys give her a try. And um, thanks for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next video. Sorry about the rambling at the end there. I just... Had to talk a little bit there. <laughs> All right. Well, as I said, catch you next video and thanks for watching. Bye.